Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the first video of 2021. I have decided that this year I'm just going to film two videos a week. I used to film three videos a week, kind of random times and stuff like that, but I'm now going to film two because I think that's like a good amount based on what I want to film and also how much time I have because I am actually extremely busy with so many different things, especially last year and this year. So I'm just going to film two videos a week. January is going to be more themed towards organisation and like just the beginning of the year, like the usual stuff. So that's what this month's going to be kind of themed because like every single month I want to kind of tailor it to sort of what's going on in the world. If you can hear anything, it's the traffic. You may hear the battery beeping in my alarm, but I'm going to try and cut that out. Also, we've got the Christmas tree behind me still. I've removed all Christmas themed things from here just to film this video because I actually haven't taken my Christmas decorations down yet. But the Christmas tree is still there, so please ignore that. I'm trying to like block it out with my head, but we, you know, we're, we're just trying here. This video, I didn't, I've never filmed a video like this before, but I thought it might be quite interesting for this year. This is gonna be 2020, what my goals were versus what actually happened. So I looked back on my um, new, new Year's resolutions for 2020. I looked back on that video. First of all, I was like, Jesus Christ, I have lost weight. <laughs> and then secondly, I was like looking through my goals and I was like, actually, that's very interesting. Some things have definitely changed and some things have been achieved and others not. So without further ado, get a hot drink. Yes, we've got a cute little mug. Thank you, Emma, for getting me this for Christmas. If you watch my vlog, Miss, you would have seen that I had a very Christmassy themed mug. I always used to say get a hot drink and watch this video. Now I can say that with this mug. So look how cute. Oh. Anyway, I'll just pop that down. So I'm kind of gonna go through what I have achieved in the year or not achieved and also compare it back to the actual resolutions that I had in that video. So I have achieved a little bit more than what I said in that video. So I will also include that as well. So this video is kind of like what I achieved and what I didn't achieve in 2020, but kind of compared to what I thought. So first of all, I posted a lot more videos on here than I was expecting. I wanted to be consistent with this and I wanted to post a lot more. That's what I said in that video. I think that was one of my resolutions and I have remained fairly consistent with posting on this channel and getting up loads of videos. I varied my content and I kind of have figured out what kind of videos I want to film and what kind of videos people like to see, which happens to be uh, body shop videos or like what I eat in a day videos or stuff like that. And people tend to like vlogs. Also, I did Vlogmas, so I managed to post pretty much every single day. I managed to post 25 videos in December anyway, in fact, 26, because my last video is what I got for Christmas. So I'm kind of proud that I did that, but however, I don't think I could do that again because that was a lot of effort. Also, last year, I lost weight. So one of my resolutions was actually to be healthier, to work out more, and I don't know if the resolution was to lose weight or whether it's just, just to be healthier in general. But yeah, I lost about two stone in 2020 because I started Alexandra's Happy Body Plan and that kind of just triggered my brain into thinking about how to be healthier a lot more and understanding that losing weight comes from being in a calorie deficit. You can't just exercise and exercise if you're overeating. So I think that was a good thing for me, but I did lose weight. I'm not really gonna talk about it in this video, but that was one of my goals I achieved and I'm very happy about that. So I did actually achieve that goal. A lot of people have resolutions of losing weight at the beginning of the year. I've never had that resolution before and I had that last year and I actually achieved it. So I'm very happy with that one. Oh, I need to sneeze. I also started my own skincare business last year. So I, one of my resolutions last year was to continue with the body shop at home and to try and put all of my effort into it. Well, I quickly realized that no amount, like you put so much effort into doing the body shop at home and you get little return back. The commission that you earn from sales is only 25%. And for me, the effort that goes in and all of there's loads of other things as to why i wouldn't recommend doing it and i don't know if i'll ever speak about that in a video because it is really controversial you will get attacked if you speak up but you also get loads of support from people so it's what that kind of thing um but i just don't think you should do it and i'm glad that i didn't i stopped it i'm i'm kind of in a way glad that i did do it in the first place because it did teach me like how to sell things and it got me to know um a lot more people that i wouldn't have known before people that um, bought from me and i became friends with and things like 
like that but it did mean that I brought up the idea in my head to start my own skincare business. I will link my Etsy and eBay down below if you'd like to check that out. I did start off with a website and I had my website for quite a long time, basically the whole year. Um, and the website's very expensive, so I thought I'll see how it goes on my website and then I'll move over to eBay and Etsy um, if, I, if I need to. And that's exactly what I've done. I've moved over to eBay and Etsy now um, to see how that goes. I tend to get a lot more sales on eBay, so I don't know if people prefer ebay or not but let me know but that's going really well i've got loads of ideas for 2021 for products there's something coming out in january so go follow my skincare facebook group and my skincare instagram if you want to know all about that because that will be in the description box and i post sort of updates on everything and all that good stuff so please check that out i also wrote down here because i've got my little list of course i got organized with my flat i think at the start of the year i wasn't the most organized i love organization i always have done but when you move out there's a lot of things that kind of you know that you realize and that happen that you don't necessarily know you know you're not used to you know you've got to consider everything you've got to consider the cleaning um, of everything and all that kind of thing and to get into that routine again like I'm a routine person I can't just get into a routine like that I have to naturally fall into a routine and then I stick to it it's like they say when you start doing something it becomes a habit and that's for me what I do everything I do all becomes habit and I enjoy it so I'm very organized with everything right now I know what I'm doing I'm feeling a lot better and a lot happier starting 2021 also wrote down that I'm happier I am happier now than I was at the beginning of the year I know people say sometimes they sometimes they say they need to find themselves and i was thinking what the heck is that like what does that mean and all i can say is i think it means where you just accept that all you need to do is try your best and be your best for yourself all you should focus on is trying to make yourself happy and do things that make you happy and also help others because that will then make you happy be kind to other people because when you're kind you get kindness back most of the time um, but you should and just focus on that and any situation or anything gets in the way of that you just deal with that with the most positive mind that you can still focusing on yourself so I think that's what I do I'm just a lot happier now and I'm just like whatever happens happens I'm just gonna whiz through that <laughs> I'm a little note bag anyway oh my god this is funny um at the beginning of the year in that video I actually laughed when I watched this I said I want to mix up my style I said there's going to be a lot of Primark hauls because I'm going to buy some new clothes. I don't think I brought one item. Actually, maybe I did. I bought something and I think it was a dress, but I think my mum paid for that. So thanks, mum. I, I didn't, I don't, I don't buy stuff really. Um, maybe I did buy one or two things, but I, I can't really remember, to be honest. But I just, I'm not interested. I wasn't interested in fashion. Kind of getting a little bit more into fashion. As time is going along, because I'm starting to realise, George, you cannot wear leggings and a hoodie every single day, but most days you can um just not every day um so yeah that that one that one we're still working on for this year i've got my um 2021 resolutions and goals video coming on next wednesday so stay tuned for that and you'll see what my resolutions are for 2021 there probably won't be many i haven't written them yet i also said that i wanted to focus on uni so and i wanted to like really push myself with that i would say that I could have done better. I did have to resit something and although I did pass that eventually and I'm absolutely fine and I'm in third year now, but I don't think I put in as much effort as I could because I'm so busy with everything and like, although you might think, how are you busy? Like, what do you actually do? You don't even have a job. But I am quite busy with cleaning every day and um, cleaning my flat, making my products, packaging orders, posting my social media, taking pictures for products to post on social media and making YouTube videos, editing them, uploading them, uni work, catching up on uni work, that kind of thing. So I'm not, um, I'm not just sat at home doing nothing. I'm busy all day. <laughs> so just throwing that out there. I would say that that's still something I'm working on. <laughs> Also, I said that I wanted to prioritise my mental health and I think I really have done that this year because a lot of people, there's been a lot of things happen this year that's not been so great and a lot of people's mental health goes a little bit down, especially when certain things happen. And also mental health is not 
always caused by things happening. It can just be what goes on inside your head. You might have the most perfect life ever. To somebody else, you might have the most perfect life ever with everything handed to you on a plate or, or you might have like your future looks so bright but you deep down can be so depressed and unhappy and maybe you don't even know why. And that's why I think mental health is so important. People cannot see when you're struggling. The thing about physical disabilities is at least people can see that somebody is struggling but when it comes to mental health problems and things like that, people can't see that. They can't help you unless you speak up and a lot of the time people don't want to speak up about their problems because they want to try and deal with it themselves. So I wanted to really focus on my mental health and make sure that I'm like looking out for people and I think now more than ever, especially this year, I am going to look out for people, message people, make sure they're okay. You know, if you message somebody and you ask them, how are you? And they say, I'm good, thanks. Like, don't just say, okay, that's the end of conversation. Like, try and get a conversation going. Try and talk to them because sometimes people don't want to talk about how they feel when actually sometimes people think that you don't actually want to talk about how they're feeling and they just kind of hold back when actually they do have stuff to say. So you just have to like dig that out a little bit. But yeah, just look out for yourself and look out for other people around you. Um, but yeah, just focus on making yourself and everyone happy and you can't go wrong. That is everything. Um, I think the things I mainly achieved, my most proud goal is the losing weight because I never thought I'd be able to do that. But I have done and still to this day I get loads of questions from people asking about that so feel free to message me if you want on Instagram it's linked in the description always but I think that's my most proudest goal also starting up my little skincare business and getting all that going it's quite difficult it's quite difficult to get things going so I'm very happy with that last year so that's another sort of main achievement and also being a lot happier is also probably the main thing if I'm honest so yeah that's everything the only things that I didn't achieve that I wanted to last year was I did mention about the body shop and wanting to continue with that well I'm glad I didn't so not sad about that one but I also wanted to mix up my style and I haven't really um this year at all and that and that doesn't bother me either because it doesn't matter what you wear or anything like that um do what makes you happy buy what makes you happy and things like this make me happy this little mug here makes me very happy so just focus on those things so that is it for this video this is my first video of 2021 i think i was like 2021 um 2021 that was quite interesting to look back over last year so yeah thanks to everybody that stayed subscribed or became subscribed throughout last year and everyone that comments likes everything like that i appreciate you all and next video is going to be my goals for 2021. Probably not going to be that many if I'm honest. But, you know, it's just nice to film the videos. Yeah, two videos a week, two videos a week from now on. A little bit higher quality than usual or maybe not. I don't know. But it's just going to be easier for my brain to deal with it. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for the rest of the year. And I will see you on Wednesday for my goals. Goodbye and have a good day.